Hello fellow developers. In this video, I want to be talking about panels. Panels are the things that you see behind me. So I'm currently in the menu level and you will find them in the examples. And panels are just another UI interface that allow you to show uh, your custom information and uh, uh, navigate between them. So for example, if I press on these panels, I will be able to switch uh, between them and I could even open these panels up by just clicking on them again. And um, as you can see, um, the panel shows some really nice content. And the way this works is uh, the panel basically acts as a frame and you can, you can put in your own content uh, as you wish inside. And uh, it also allows for interaction. So for example, if I would press this button down here, it would take me to the level. But level changing, obviously, is not the only functionality that it has. You can also use it to show your own custom information, to show some uh, nice arranged information, or be, to be switching between different scenes or elements like that. So they, they probably have a wide variety of uh, applications. And um, these are called the large panels. We also have them in small sizes, and they behave a bit differently. Let's take you over to the other example right here. Um, so. These are the small panels that you would also see in one of the example maps. Let me quickly arrange the camera. Yeah, perfect. So this should look better. Um, so uh, if I press on these panels, they will open up right down here. Yeah, let me put them like that. You can see um, this already has some kind of custom uh, content. Obviously, this content is meant to be changed, like you're, you're supposed to put in your own content and show your own information, and this is done via widgets. Um, here, for example, we have a, a custom content. It would uh, show that, for example, you can put a small image right down here, you could small, put a small down, image down there and a large text down there. Um, but the actually uh, nice thing is that the, the palettes work as frames, meaning uh, the, the design and the frame is kind of given and you just put in your, your images and uh, you define um, a widget for the right side and the left side and uh, then it's kind of easy to create your own menus that way. And of course they come bundled with the kind of logic that they appear as if I press on these different buttons. So that's also quite nice. They also have a button to appear to, to disappear. And um, that's basically it. So let's meet in the editor and I will show you how to set them up. So here we have a fresh project from the marketplace. And if we hit play, we see that we are in the in the desktop pawn and we see in the menu level that we already have the uh, panels set up. But we want to create our own panels, so let us see how we can do that. For that, um, I will create a new folder, call it tutorial. And uh, then I will create a new level and start off from, from a completely new level. Um, as you probably remember, we need to set the player position in the world. I'll quickly set up the level so we can directly start into it. Right. Player position. And then we need a map info file. Place that in the world. And I'll take a level key that's already known, for example, the menu level, so we don't have a, uh, we, we don't need to set that up. Um, I'll quickly save that in the tutorial maps folder, map panel tutorial. Okay. So now we see that we have ourselves up and running here. So we can start creating our panel. Um, so to do that, uh, we have to create an actor, um, and uh, I will call that uh, um, as yeah. Let's create a panel actor and um, create a new actor, and call that BP panel menu. Basically, just call that panel menu. And we can drag, uh, drag and drop that in the world. And then um, we should go inside the actor. And there's a component, add panel. And we have the panel menu large and the panel menu small, depending on which kind of panel you want. I'm going to create a large panel menu. Um, but basically, you can create whatever you want. 
And then we have a few settings. Um, this can basically stay the same as they are. You, you can adjust uh, which is going to be centered and uh, what the, diff uh, the, the distance between tiles is. But the most important thing is that uh, we can add a few panels. And we already see that we have quite a lot um, that are currently existing in the project, uh, but we want to create our own. So, um, uh, yeah, I think uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll create or add a few of the existing ones, um, just so you can see that the panel here is currently working. And let me place that on the ground. I don't know which orientation it currently has, but yeah, it's currently faced back side and now it's facing my side um, and uh, so it's a bit easier to see I will uh, probably make this skies here disappear and now it's even better to see um, so since they're transparent they do want a back, uh, dark background but yeah so uh, here we already have our panel set up so our panel menu is working quite fine, but obviously we want our own panels. And um, this is what we should do right now. So you already saw that we are using data assets here. And example data assets can be found in the example data asset panel folder. Um, we have a few folders with different examples. And uh, but we want to create our own. So the, the data asset uh, panel level is derived from a primary data asset and the primary data assets for that you can find in the AF core data asset folder. So if you go inside here, you will find palettes and here you already have a, a few presets. So um, what, we, what we were currently looking at is the uh, lev large level data assets. So um, we can cr uh, create our own doing that. Um, I will go inside the panel and I will create myself a data asset. You can do that by going on miscellaneous data asset and that's going to be the BP level large, BP panel large level. So that's, that's the one we were currently looking at. I will create a data asset, uh, yeah, panel large tutorial. Um, yeah, just creating one of them. Okay, and if we go inside, we can see that we have a lot of information here. And um, that's because, uh, yeah, we do want to fill out uh, a lot of images. And uh, the way it is set up is this is the front page. Um, so, Maybe I should open up the, the widget as well, showing the, the design and how it kind of looks. So if we go inside um, blueprints, widgets, panels, and we have the panel right here, then we can go in the widget panel design large. And there you see, this is what the panel will look like. And uh, you see that you have several images, a bit of text here as well, and a logo. And these all will be set by the data asset that, that we are currently creating. So uh, these one-to-one -one match the, the data asset. So if you look inside the front, um, you can see that we have a slogan, which is going to be this thing. Could also be called title. Then the details, which be called this thing. Then you have an additional text, which is this thing. You have a logo, which is going to be this thing on top, and you have a cover, which is going to be a background here. And then you have a background color, which is going to be that thing. So we, we are quickly going to create our own. We, we're going to call that tutorial, and we are going to create, um, this is just a text. And uh, to do new lines here, you would have to do br slash and uh, this is another line. And um, for the additional text, we can do the same additional text. So obviously entering the text here is kind of straightforward. Um, then you have a logo. Uh, I, will, uh, I will actually take that one. Um, 
So let's let me find that image and see if I can paste it in here. Yeah, perfect. Then I have the logo. And as a cover, I will. Um, so it, it wants a semi transparent part to cover. So you see the image is a bit larger. That's part of the design. So you do want like transparency flip uh, going over and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I have a perfect picture for that right now. Um, let me, yeah, let me take one of the standard custom pictures that I always take. But obviously, you want to create your own beautiful pictures doing that, um, so they don't look so ugly. And then as a background color, I will take a beautiful light blue or something. Yeah, this thing. Okay, and uh, now we could already use that. Uh, but you see you also have additional pictures right here or additional content right here and here in, in the design you see that the additional content isn't really pictured in here and that's because um, they're kind of separated into two parts it's designed that the design of it uh, kind of has this content as, as fixed and you only want to be exchanging the pictures and the text um, but this content is meant to be uh, completely changed by by the user and we will later do that um, but we do need to create a custom widget for that so uh, for now the um, the level widget is the only widget that we have and uh, this I will I will take a look in as as well so here we have the content level large and this is uh, what you might recognize uh, so this is going to be the content that's going to be filled in here but um, just to give a quick explanation, um, it's separated into these two parts because it's meant to be that uh, you can create your own content here. So maybe you do want a list of like 10 buttons that you have 10 sub levels that you can choose from, or uh, maybe you want to show your, uh, show your content in, in like a different way that uh, you, you don't want just these three pictures here, or maybe you don't want to start any level at all. So you do, don't want to have this button right here. So it really um, the the content really defines on what your uh, panel is actually there for. But I can imagine that this kind of content will always stay the same, and uh, will you you just want to exchange the the text. So this is why um, the panels are separated into these two fields. So you have these fields up here, which are going to be transferred into into this widget, and you have these fields down here, which are going to stay here. And uh, one thing that we want is uh, we can choose which pa uh, content panel we want. So as we already said, we want the large level to be to be had. So um, we are going to create, uh, we are going to set that. So this is going to be the content large level. Again, uh, we're going to change this um, uh, uh, later when we add our different or custom content in there. But just for now, um, uh, oh yeah, let me let me add some pictures here as well, so so we see that every all the all of, all of the pictures are being added. Obviously, you do want to add like beautiful pictures with your own resolutions and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to bother with that right now. I, I think you're uh, you you will know what it means to add your own pictures, and it only gets beautiful when you actually own your add your own pictures. Um, this is a level info a file. So just for explanation, the start level is going to. Uh, take you to a level info. So if you, uh, for example, set this level, uh, then the start level will take you to this level as soon as you press it. And now what we can do is we can simply add our newly created data asset to, our, um, uh, to our level, uh, to our menu. And one thing that we can do is we can uh, change the centered index. So change the centered index, for example, to two. That means the second um, the second panel will be centered in the beginning. So you see that it's um, it looks a bit more beautiful. Um, let me quickly move that to the side. And there we can see um, that we have our new palette in here. And it's just the way that we created it. So we have the old ones right here. And um, I'm too far away. And if I open that right here, you see we, we have it set with our content and the color looks really bad. So you do want to take a darker color, definitely. And um, this button should already right, work right here. So if you just want to create level panels, 
this is the way you do it. You just uh, create a data asset, fill the content of the data asset, and then you're good to go. Oh, um, one last thing, and this is actually quite important, um, is that uh, the start level doesn't take you any um, doesn't take you anywhere uh, so far because that has to be done um, outside of the palette. So maybe this is something that I should. Um, yeah, I should probably explain right now. Um, so if we go inside the menu, um, we see that, or maybe let me explain it that way. Um, in a multiplayer scenario, you cannot execute any functionality inside the pa uh, inside the widget that is supposed to be replicated. That's why all the functionality comes down to the uh, comes down to the palette, and uh, you can add panel functionality. And if you press a button inside your, your panel, your panel functionality will be triggered there. Um, so um, I'm not really sure what it was named now. I will have to take a look into the into the one that we were using in the um, um, that we were using in the, what is it called in in the menu. Um, so either I take a look at the menu level or I'll quickly find it over here, but probably I have to find it in the menu level itself. So it should be somewhere in examples, panels. Um, that's probably the best way to look for it. Um, blueprints, panels, and there I have the menu level large. There you see you have a small snippet of code, which basically just says switch level and yeah, let me copy that over so um, we have this explanation here. So um, wh what we're doing right here is um, we uh, we are receiving an information when the panel has been has been uh, has received a um, a command, and that command is is going to be just executing to switch the level, and uh, we can cast. Um, uh, we, we have to cast it to a, a level actor or a level data asset. Um, I hope that makes sense um, and it's not too confusing. I really didn't want to put it into this part, but um, since it doesn't really work in any other scenario, um, we have to do it like that. So now if we hit press, it will take us to the level. Um, so that's how we execute functionality out of uh, data assets. Sadly, this is, this is absolutely needed because again, in a multiplayer scenario, widgets cannot contain any executing functionality. So this needs to be inside, um, this needs to be inside uh, the blueprint. Okay, so um, now that we've had this little detour, uh, we can see that we can create our own panels. And um, now we want to create a, our own custom design for our panel. And um, this can be a bit tricky. And what I would always recommend is uh, taking an existing panel and uh, changing that. So if you go inside panels, um, we have already the, the content for the large level. And I will I will simply copy that over. And um, so into panels, copy it here. And uh, this is going to be our content large tutorial. And uh, if we go inside, we, we see that this is our this is a template that we're going to use. And uh, the the reason why I do this is simply because creating widgets is always a pain, and it's it's always good to start from something you you already have. Um, so if you want to create our own widgets, we can simply we can remove all of this stuff. Um, it says that it uh, wants to be used, but it, we we can create our own custom content right here. Um, and now, it obviously, it complains. And this is because um, it needs to, or these references uh, are currently missing. Or uh, that's because we, we deleted the content here. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to add a bit of custom content. So for example, I'm going to add a text field right here. And um, this is going to be our text blog. Um, I'll 
make it a bit bigger so we don't yeah we, uh, so we will see that it sh should have some text wrapping as well so it doesn't doesn't wrap over um, then I'm going to create an image right here and uh, again this is not a tutorial on how to do widgets this is just a tutorial on how to uh, uh, how you can how you can um, create your own widget inside inside the panels and then for for um, for explanation's sake I'm going to also add a button um, again I'm always like to use uh, the palette button normals because they're they're quite beautiful and um, here we can for example I can drag that in and as a button content I will say um, or um, tutorial and the font is quite good I make it no that's too big um, 40 should be better to read and um, yeah that's gonna be it I, I, I think I think everybody kind of understands how how this is going to be so this is going to be an image this is going to be a text this is going to be a, but, uh, a button and uh, now we want to fill this content so obviously you see um, that we, we don't have a panel large level anymore we want to um, adjust it with our own content. So how do we do that? Basically, what we need is a new data asset, a new panel data asset, um, because um, the one that we are using right here um, doesn't really fit anymore because these elements don't really exist anymore. So we have to create our own panel data asset to do that. And um, to do that, uh, we can, uh, yeah, I'll do it that way um, so we have the panel large and you here you see that um, we have a primary data asset and here we have the hierarchy so from the primary data assets we have the PDA the panel and the PDA panel large and the PDA, uh, PDA uh, example and the level and we want to create our own one so I'm going to um, create this as a parent and this is going to be our PDA panel um, and large tutorial and this doesn't really apply anymore so I could either reparent it or create a new data asset uh, doing this now we'll create a new one so it, it becomes very clear what we have to do and um, maybe I will also put um, this into a new folder so uh, we have it separated so I'm going to create uh, I'm going to delete no I'm not going to delete the old one I'm going to create a completely new one and so we see them as a comparison um, it doesn't allow me to move that inside there that's that's, that's a shame Okay, now it allows me to move it inside. And um, I'm going to create a data asset. Let me see miscellaneous data asset of our new panel large tutorial. Oh no, um, actually I'm not going to do that. I'm first going to customize our new panel large tutorial. And here you see that um, the content of the, um, the panel is already um, is already set in there, uh, or th at least uh, the the front side is is already set as as variables, but the the content is missing, and that's why uh, that's because we want to set up our own content. And as we saw in our example here, we want basically a text, we want an image, and maybe we want something to do on the on the button. Um, so we could decide what we want to do there, and uh, that's uh, yeah. It's, that's that's basically that's going to be in um, a, a name tag. So we're going to uh, input a command there, so it, it does at least something. So um, as a text, I'm going to include an i8 uh, or uh, a title, and that's going to be our i18 n key. Um, again, this is always for translation. I always for for text inputs. I always use the I eighteen N keys. Um, there will be a tutorial about uh, how to use them. 
um, but they're actually very, very simple and straightforward. So, and as an image, this is going to be a texture 2D. So this is an image. And uh, then as the last one, we, are uh, we, we wanna execute an, uh, maybe a function on, on the button. So this is going to be a name actually. And I will explain why it is going to be a name a bit later. So um, we have these three elements. I'm just going to make them visible. I'm all going to uh, put them all in the in the category tutorial. Drag that in. Put that in. And now. Um, uh, the, the very nice thing is we created our own template for how to set up our new tutorial panel. And I am going to create a new data asset under miscellaneous data asset. And there you have um, our new tut uh, large tutorial panel. So if we select that, I can create a data asset uh, panel large tutorial and probably you have to call it differently because the other one was was the level so I'm going to call the other one um, differently just because actually the name was was a panel level tutorial and uh, the new one that we created was a panel large tutorial and and now we see that we have our new title image and ex, uh, explode that we can set in here um so this is or not i shouldn't have called it explode yeah i'm always going to do explode uh examples so this is going to be uh the the button command let's call it that that's that's going to be much nicer so um so it says button command right here um nice and our panel is going to call explode sorry if it's uh, if it's a bit um if i'm uh, a bit hectic at the moment. I hope it's going it's still understandable. So um, it details um, this panel will explode and uh, additional text. Yeah, let's leave it blank for now. Um, a logo we can put in that um, or is the logo. I, I don't think the logo should be too big. Um, so I'm going to create that. Um, the other image can be can be this one. Again, images obviously you do want to just put in your own. Um, yeah, let's take a dark green one. And as the content image, uh, we want to take our widget panel large tutorial, the one that we created. So this is very important. So we put in another content widget into our frame again. Um, the, the way the panel is kind of designed is it has the design on top and the content is meant to be uh, adjusted to your to your application. So you do want to have your own content widget basically. And this is what's going to be in the content widget. So we want to have a title um, tutorial uh, widget. Then we want to put in an image, our own image. And this is going to be the pawn, for example. And uh, then we want to execute a button command. This is going to be explode because, yeah, it's, I think that's the easiest visual effect. And I think it's a bit overused, but again, it, it gets a point across. Um, and then uh, what, we uh, what we have to do is we still have to assign this information that we uh, created in the data uh, in the data asset to this panel. And what we can do is, well, first of all, we uh, want to make this uh, set to give this a proper name. So this is going to be the title text. And then we set it to is variable. And um, this is, we are going to do the same thing with that. So it's the main image. And it's already set as a variable. And this is always going to be set as a variable. And what we are also going to do is we are going to set this button on press. So we have an event right here. 
Um, again, this was a functionality created from before, but it's always good as an example to how you would create it because all the basically all the code that we are doing right now um, has or is already created in some kind of examples. And here you see that the images from before are basically just taken from the asset and, and plugged in. And that's the same thing that we're going to do right now. So to populate the image, um, we want, uh, we'll, we'll first going to delete all of that. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll get our data asset. So this is going to be a, a data asset um, of our panel. And we will have to cast it to our last tutorial data asset. And we know it's going to be that um, because that's the only one that will create this panel. So uh, we we don't uh, we can just um, convert it to pure cast. And uh, we can set whether it's valid or not, um, but I th uh, it's definitely going to be valid. So this is uh, this is not necessary right here. Um, what we want is we want the title, so we can get the title right here. What we also want is we want the image. So we can get the image right here. And um, we want the button command. But the button command we want to get right, uh, we want to get it to in a second. So, and now we want to get the title and we want to set the text on the on the title. And again, this is for translation. So the ita 18 n key you can always translate. And um, in the context, as always, if there's a, uh, um, a context field right here, always put self in. Um, that's just a convention that will always be done. Um, and yeah, just I will check whether it's valid or not. Um, I know actually that's 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 confusing. Let's not do that. That's totally unnecessary in our case. And then uh, we can connect our text right here. And now our title text has been set. We will do the same for the image. Um, so we have our main image right here. And we want to set uh, a set texture, set brush from texture. And we will add, adjust that right here. We will enter it. And now the, the image and the text will be set. And um, we don't want to change uh, the the content of the button that's already quite quite nice and enough, um, but the button needs to execute functionality, and uh, that's why we're going to do right here. So currently, what this button previously did was switch the level. So that's uh, the connection that you saw right here, um, uh, that we saw in the panel menu. So in the panel menu, it was sending a command uh, to to this thing right here, and now we want to send another a, a different command. So the command that we may want to set is, for example, explode, because we, we always do that. And um, we don't need the reference object, because yeah, we, we don't want to send a new reference object. But if you do, um, you can do that with, with adding an object or a class uh, reference right here. And it always looks more beautiful if it's actually delayed. So um, delay the button by a second. Um, the pawn has to be set right here, and now if we would if we would press on the button, it uh, would send a command to the pa uh, to the panel menu um, that would say explode. Um, one last thing that we always need to do um, is this is get button containable widgets. So the button containable widget that we have is this tutorial button right here, and we need to add this to the list. So we will. Just drag that in, add that, and uh, that lets uh, the, uh, uh, the the widget know that this is going to be a button that should be pressable. Again, this is um, this is a customary thing that I always do in my in my widgets, and it allows the system to recognize, okay, this is going to be a button um, that should be pressable. Okay, so now we finally got our widget set up. And um, that should almost be enough. So we, we set our content up right here. And we set our widget up right here, so our widget content. So this widget content um, is going to be placed in here. And the rest of the information we set is going to be placed in here. OK, I, I hope that wasn't too confusing. But um, this is 
basically widgets in a nutshell. Widgets are always going to involve a lot of different elements that have to communicate together. It's always going to be a bit confusing. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to add the explode command to our panel menu. Again, um, uh, let, me, let me go in here. Whatever you put in here is going to come out on the panel menu and it's going to come out replicated. So in a multiplayer scenario, you would be able to, the other players would be able to see that as well. Of course, um, you're also able, um, and this is probably going to be explained in, in different videos as well, um, you're also able to execute your code right here. You don't need to execute the widget functionality. But if you do want to have a, widget, uh, a multiplayer scenario, you need to, you need to do that. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to spawn particle at location. I'm going to call a an explosion, and I'm going to call that right here. And uh, this is get actor location. I'm going to spawn the particle at the actor location. So the actor location is going to be the panel menu, but this is just for um, uh, this is just as an explanation of how you would uh, call and execute code right here. So obviously, um, our main goal is not to execute a, an emitter. It's just to show you, okay, this is how you would execute code. Okay, now uh, what we can do is we can add our new tutorial uh, panel to to the list. So this is going to be our panel large tutorial. Uh, remember, it's, uh, we now created two panels. We created the the simpler one with the already created uh, with the already preset level content, um, which was the panel large level tutorial, and now we created another one with panel large tutorial. Okay, hit, let me hit play, and here we can see we have our new tutorial. We even have our new logo right here. And now if you open it up, we see that we have our new content with our image that we set, our new tutorial widget, and even our button that we can press. And you can even see that it exports down there. And obviously, um, you, you need beautiful images to, to make uh, the widgets work. Like these are really beautiful. Uh, these images make the widgets look really ugly. Um, and it gives a false, a false perception because um, uh, using using nice images and elements like that. So even if these pictures would be a bit bigger, they they really create a a more a nicer look and feel. So um, yeah, create your uh, create beautiful images um, uh, to to put them in there, and it really allows you to create like um, awesome menus um, that feel like, um, very futuristic at the same time. So um, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I know um, it's really like working with widgets can be really overwhelming, especially if I'm switching between all those different windows and showing 10 things at the same time. I don't want to take, make these videos too long, but I think it's um, uh, it doesn't work in any other way. I do have to explain it in, in this kind of way. So um, I... In the next episode, um, since the panels already touched that quite well, um, I will explain how the level transition works and how you load between different levels and how actually when you press this button, something useful will happen. And um, yes, I will then hope you hopefully see you in the next episode.